Scrantled Tamahanti residents' dispute with Ivan Platts began after the construction of a two-kilometer fence opposite its operations. They claimed the fence was erected on their plowing and grazing fields, allegedly without their consent. I, Ivan Platts is just invading the, the, the Tamahanti land without uh, community participation with the Tamahanti residents. They went into their, uh, their mill field, they, they erected the fence there, they dug the, the, the uh, storm water there. The Tamahansi Development Committee, along with the Mahalakwena mining communities, are also unhappy about a storm drainage reticulation system installed on their piece of land. They say this has prevented their livestock from accessing a nearby water source. They are now demanding compensation. The first one is with regard to the compensation of the millifield owners. Because Ivan Plant is putting 60,000 uh, for 25 years, once of payment, which is actually around 200 rand uh, per month, which, as the community, we are saying, we are, we are not in disagreement with that 60,000, but let it be here. We want that 60,000 every year, which will increase based on the CPI. Ivan Platt's Platt Reefman representatives have refused to comment on the disputes raised by the surrounding communities. Katle Honyoni, SABC News, Mukopani.